friends. Welcome to another Tuesday Tales. I'm Miss Lynn, and this week I'll be reading you The Elves and the Shoemaker. Let's get started. There once was a shoemaker, through no fault of his own, became very poor. He only had enough leather to make one pair of shoes. So that evening, he cut out a pair of shoes with the leather and left the leather to finish up making the shoe the following morning. The following morning, as he was about to sit down to work, there was a finished pair of shoes on his work table. He was astounded and didn't know what to think of it. He examined the shoes carefully and observed that they were made so well and that every stitch was in the right place, just as if they were intended to be a masterpiece. Soon after, a customer entered and the shoes fit him very well. He even paid more than the usual price for the shoes. With this money, the shoemaker was able to purchase leather for two pairs of shoes. So the shoemaker cut the leather out for both pairs that night. The next morning, as he was getting ready to get to work, he noticed that the shoes were already made. A customer came in and bought both pairs of shoes and gave the shoemaker enough money that he was able to buy enough leather for four more pairs. As usual, the shoemaker cut the leather for four pairs of shoes and once again, the four pairs were made the next day. This happened night after night. He cut out the leather for the shoes in the evening and they were finished by the morning. At last, he became wealthy and was no longer poor. One evening, not long before Christmas, the shoemaker finished cutting out the shoes from the leather. He said to his wife, How about we stay up tonight and see who it is that is helping us finish these shoes? His wife agreed. So they set out a candle and they both hid in the corner of the room behind some coats and began to watch. When it was midnight, two cute little elves came in and they didn't have on any clothes. The elves sat down at the shoemaker's table, took all the work which was already cut out for, before them and began to stitch, sew, and hammer the leather. The elves worked so cleverly and quickly that the shoemaker couldn't turn his eyes away. The elves continued to work until all was done. Then they jumped off the table and quickly ran away. The next morning, the woman said, The little men have made us rich, and we really must show them that we are grateful for it. They run about so and have nothing on, and must be very cold. I'll tell you what I'll do. I will make them little shirts and coats and vests and trousers and knit both of them a pair of stockings. And you can make them two little pairs of shoes. I shall be very glad to do it. And one night when everything was ready, they laid their gifts all together on the table instead of the cut out leather. And then they hid themselves to see how the little men would behave when they saw their presents. At the stroke of midnight, the elves rushed in and wanted to get to work at once. They didn't find any leather cut out, but only the pretty little articles of clothing. They were at first astonished, and then they showed intense delight. They quickly dressed in the pretty garments and slipped them on singing. Then they danced and skipped and jumped over the chairs and benches. At last, they danced out the doors. From that time on, the elves were never seen again. As for the shoemaker and his wife, they prospered as long as they lived. The end. All right, now we're gonna do something a little different. We're gonna do an action rhyme, and I want you all to join us. So go ahead and stand up, and let's get started. Ready? Old shoes, new shoes, Miss Lynn is wearing shiny shoes. One, two, three, four. Now let's stomp them on the floor. Old shoes, new shoes, Miss Megan's wearing sandal shoes. 
One, two, three, four. Now let's stomp them on the floor. Old shoes, new shoes. Miss Holly's wearing black shoes. One, two, three, four. Now let's stomp them on the floor. All right, good job. Thanks for joining us. Now, Miss Holly's gonna teach us how to tie our own shoes. Ready? All right. Bunny ears, bunny ears, playing by a tree. Crisscrossed the tree, trying to catch me. So make sure you crisscross your laces. Bunny ears, bunny ears, jumped into the hole. So make sure you jump them in. Out pop the other side, beautiful and bold. You wanna try it one more time? All right. Bunny ears, bunny ears, playing by a tree. Crisscrossed the tree, trying to catch me. Bunny ears, bunny ears, jumped into the hole. Popped out the other side, beautiful and bold. All right, friends, I hope you had a great time with us today. Join us next week for another Tuesday Tales. Make sure you join our YouTube channel. Until next week.